so I made it to Zanzibar. I checked into my hotel. Um, honestly, this hotel is so freaking cute. Like, it is so adorable. It's tiny, like a super tiny hotel. Like a bread and b, &B. Um, it's trees and little nooks and crannies for pictures or just relaxing. Um, it has two pools, a freshwater pool, and like a saltwater pool, something like that. Um, I had dinner by the pool today, um, and everyone was so nice. Like, they were literally so nice. They're just like, welcome, you're welcome here. Like, you're like family here. Like, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, I was just sitting out there talking to them for like 10, not 10, for like 40 minutes. Um, I just really enjoyed um, talking to them. They were so nice. And, like, the hotel is um, in the middle of like a, like a village. Um, so I got to see some people and kind of look at the beach and everything. And honestly, I'm just like, <laughs> it just seems so, uh, everyone just seems so nice. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm about to take my hair out because I look kind of busted. Um, I look busted. I'm like, I cannot be in Tanzania looking busted. So... I'm getting the whole shebang. Like, I'm getting my braids done. I'm gonna see if someone wants to do these brows. Um, I'm getting a massage. I'm gonna try to get a facial. Definitely getting a pedicure. Like, I need to, <laughs> I need to, you know, after a month in Dubai, I need to spruce it up because your girl is looking. I mean, it's not terrible, but like, it could be better. It could be better. And I haven't had anyone do my hair especially my braids in years um so yeah i'm probably gonna be so oh it's gonna hurt but i'm excited but anyway i want to show you guys the airbnb so i'll definitely do that not the airbnb um, i want to show you guys this hotel is so cute um so i'll definitely do that and yeah i'm so excited good vibes great vibes <laughs> So I'm about to get this hair done. Um, oh my gosh, they're so sweet. They call the braider. She comes and she's like, yeah, I can, you know, do it for you. Um, she says she'll do it for $40, like the style that I want. Um, I want the hair to be really long. She was, uh, she was like, oh, um, yeah, I can go get the extensions, come back and help you take out your hair. I'm like, really? <laughs> This is so sweet. But yeah, so I'm about to get cute. Okay, so I just finished getting my hair done. Um, I got just like black waist length, um, knotless braids, and 
I'm feeling cuter already. <laughs> but nah, she did a good job. When I say I'm so tender headed, like I was so scared to get my hair braided because I'm tender headed, y'all. I'd be shook, okay? One little strand pull and I'm over. I'm done. I'm like, you're done. You're done. No. But um, she honestly did a great job. Um, it looks very neat. It honestly did not even take as long as I expected. I think we started at like three and um, it's, what time is it? Like, what time is it? And it's like seven. So it took about like four hours to do this. And you know, if I would have did this myself, it would have been an all night thing. And my fingers would have been struggling. So it looks really good. Um, I'm really satisfied. I paid her like $43 and um, definitely, definitely worth it. I think she did a really, really good job and it's so neat. And she didn't pull too tight. I told her sis, these edges, I need you to be gentle. She said, I got you. Um, hair was included everything and i honestly love it like i look i look you know because yeah i came here looking a little dusty so now i'm trying to get the rest of my life in order i'm probably gonna do some food um but i want to do my eyebrows i don't think i i'm going to try well, i think i'm gonna trust anybody with the brows but i'm gonna try to do a little bit of tweezing um and then i'm also I'm going to book a pedicure for tomorrow and a massage for tomorrow. Um, and I'm also going to try to do a little facial myself because, first of all, my face looks mad smooth. I don't even know what I put on it, but I'm going to try to do a little facial for myself because I didn't see, like, facials as an option um, for services here at this hotel that I'm at. So... Um, yeah, I would definitely try to do that myself. But yes, tell me what y'all think. I got my hair. <laughs> I'm feeling it. <laughs> Don't let <myself. laughs> All right. If you give me 2,000 subs, if you give me 2,000 subs, then I might be myself way better. <laughs> <laughs> I think the point of no return, no? Wait, do you already? I know, I just did my food. I'm waiting for you to look at you. <laughs> what you got for the people? You know, sometimes. We have something right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what do you have for the people? <laughs> what do you have for the people? All right. So my people. wearing shades when it's dark out. <laughs> what you got? You know, sometimes you just need to remember what Lion King said. Akuna mm. Matata. The reason, the reason why you have to remember that is because you need to practice stoicism. So it's the thinking that you know, no matter what life is. You have to adapt to the situation okay, and Socrates. reach onto every ounce of joy that you can get. No, whether it's a full glass of wine or just a lick of, of a wine stain, mm. you can be happy if you follow stoicism. 
Okay, Socrates, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. So it has been a while since I've seen my actual face. Um, I I don't even know how many days it is, but it's Friday. I got here on Saturday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been here for a week. That's crazy. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been real interesting. Um, so what I've done so far is, um, I got my hair braided, I think I showed you all that, um, I went to the beach a few times, got dinner, went on a sunset cruise, went snorkeling, went swimming with some dolphins, it was really, really cool, went to the beach and everything, um, I actually met this guy from Namibia, and um we did like a sunset cruise and like hung out at the beach and stuff which was cool and then yesterday i just kind of wanted to chill and swim in the pool so that's what i did but tell me why i'm swimming at the pool and everything and um i see like this group of people they kind of are like oh can i sit here i was like yeah of course like you know i'm just eating my food chilling whatever and then um like we get to talking they're from south africa yeah, we just like chilling whatever and they're like oh do you want to come to the beach with us and i was like yeah for sure so we go to the beach and get dinner and everything like they're real cool we're drinking taking tequila shots okay so we go to um kendor rocks which is so beautiful it's such a beautiful um like hotel and everything right on the beach like it was so fun they're they're really cool How do you know when it's right? So after ripe to become orange color. It's the yellow is ripe. Mm -hmm. It's a passion fruit we made juice. Come, say the mango juice. So give to him your umbrella. After him, in my basket. After him, you'll be next. Yeah. Akuna matata. I yes. climb coconut trees all the time. <laughs> yeah. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So y'all can see this. Oh no, what this one is saying? Waiting to do a sunset cruise, get some good food, and hopefully, um, yeah. Be in my video? Wanna say hi to the people? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. 